not all video cards are created equal. And believe it or not, they're not all supposed to do the same job. We're gonna take a look at one of those. So this is a Radeon HD 7750i6. Now it's a little bit of a long, weird, drawn out name. It's not your typical RTX 3070 or RX 6600 XT or, you know, even an older one like a, a, a GT 1070 or something or a GTX 1070 or, or maybe even a you know, RX 580. This video card is specifically designed to run multiple monitors with basically uh, office type apps or just general information. It's not meant for high res gaming. It's not meant for high frame rate or anything like that. It does support up to six monitors with each of them at 4K. Now, this is going in Ben's build. We did, a, Ben's build was actually the last video, but I tested it with a GTX 1660, which is a six gig. It's a, basically, it's a gaming GPU. This is not one of those. This, we're going to take it out and look at it in just a second, but this is actually designed with several mini display ports that will convert to HDMI so that you can get a digital output on up to a 4K monitor and it will be able to support up to six of those. Um, hence the reason why it's called an i6. Now, I'm not so much going to look at all the specs and all the, hey, look, this is the greatest thing, this is that, that's the, the plus, the minus. Uh, I, maybe we can talk a little bit about the difference between a, a, a standard GPU and uh, something like this that's a little bit more specialized. This only has two gig of onboard memory, whereas a lot of your, your gaming GPUs will have minimum of four, maybe up to eight, some of them even more than that, more... Uh, more recent cards could have up to, you know, 12 or 16 or 20. Um, but this this only has two. It's two gig of DDR5. And by all accounts, it's a little bit older design. But it's perfect for what it's supposed to do. All right, we can see in the box here, we've got the card. Um, oh, and we actually do have, oh, that's nice. We've got a couple of adapter cables the mini display port to, uh, to an HDMI, so you can use a regular, looks like a regular HDMI. There are six of these, which is great, so Ben will, uh, ben will be very happy about that. Now, the one difference is here, uh, he was able to get some cables, he was able to get mini display port to HDMI cables that were relatively inexpensive, and they're quite a bit longer than this, so uh, we'll be able to test that out, or we'll be able to check those, but uh, in any case, it's nice to know that these come included. I don't think either one of us realized that was the case. The card itself is a single slot card. It does not have external power. And you can see this particular one's made by Vision Tech. There we go. And that's what that looks like. Six ports on the back. Very simple design. It's not meant to get very warm. Again, when we were talking about uh, when we were talking about working inside that case, I added an extra fan in that case just to make sure temperature stayed down. But I knew that we were going to use a single slot card like this, so I knew that we weren't going to have to worry too much about temperatures. There is going to be plenty of airflow though, and temperatures should not be any kind of problem at all. Now, what we are going to do when we go to test this is I'm simply going to check to make sure that all six ports work on this video card, that it works the way it's supposed to work. I will, in turn, probably go ahead and check all six of these cables that came with it because I want to make sure they all work. And then I will go ahead and uh, just to, out of curiosity more than anything, I will probably run a benchmark or two, one or two games just to see how it stands up or how it holds up and what the most likely comparison to a mainstream GPU would be. Uh, again, this is not a mainstream GPU. This is a, a specialized GPU. It's meant to have multiple displays for, again, office and productivity type work. Uh, but uh, you've seen those displays that are like a, a rack of monitors and this will display up to six of them, up to 4K. 
So, um, yeah, I'm kind of curious about that. I think that'll be pretty cool to, to play around with and look at. And hopefully we'll get a chance to, to visit with Ben after the whole thing is installed and, and see the, the entire setup. But for now, I'm going to go be testing everything out. And uh, like I said, run one or two little benchmarks to see what the closest comparison of a mainstream GPU this might be. Once again, this HD 7750 i6. It's a Radeon graphics card. It's made by AMD. And uh, right now it's got an NVIDIA graphics card, so we're going to have to use DDU, which is a, basically the graphics uninstaller to take all those drivers off, put AMD drivers on, and check it with us. All right, so we've got it all installed here. Everything looks good. Tucked everything back away. Um, 7750 is installed, ready to go. The ports on the back here, we're going to test each of these in turn. These come with uh, those adapter cables. I thought they were regular uh, mini port or mini display to HDMI. Turns out they are mini display port to regular display port. Four of them are and two of them are DVI, which is also a digital display. So that's not a problem. But I will test each of these four ports. I will go ahead and test each of the cables just to make sure. And then I will go ahead and test um, the cable that he gave me to test just to make sure everything's on the up and up. I will obviously have to test at least one game or two games. Uh, I'll test a DX11 game and a DX12 game just to kind of see what results we're getting. We're not expecting anything out of those results. This thing isn't designed to be playing games. All we're doing is just testing functionality. And there we go. And that should be coming up right there in just a second. There we go. Finished getting the drivers and all that stuff and testing it out and give you guys, you know, some of my feedback and results in just a few minutes. So the one thing to, to note is this uh, this graphics card, like I said, is not meant for gra not meant for AAA gaming. And you can see that an example of Far Cry 5, uh, it actually says it will not run with this graphics card. But again, that's not the purpose of this graphics card. This graphic this graphics card is going to be for uh, utilities and and things like that and office type uh, office type productivity software so it we're not going to be doing gaming but of course we are going to check you know one or two benchmarks just to see how it stacks up and what it's like but um yeah so far we got it looking good we're going to have to clean things up of course take all the games and the testing stuff off of here once we get done and then we'll be able to turn it over to ben and uh things should be really really good for him So it installed very easily. It uh, the drivers and everything it, it went very very easily, very well. I was able to test all six of the ports on the back. I was able to start testing with some of the cables that came in the box, the cable he sent me, different configurations to make sure that multiple monitors would work. And I even tested whether you can use uh, from the back of the card and also the 4350. Uh, the 4350G to make sure or C. I was kind of curious because it's set up sometimes that doesn't work too well where you can't use the graphics on the processor and the graphics on the card but in this case it let me use both so he has a possibility of using up to seven monitors if he needs to which I thought that was that was unexpected and pretty cool so uh, would, would I normally do that Maybe not because that might take away a little bit of the processing power or some of the some of the memory that's on you know some of the memory in the cache for the either the graphics or the CPU. But in any case, it can be done. I thought that was pretty interesting that you could do that. Um, I did go ahead and test a couple of games with uh, CS:GO. I was getting I think it was about 52 frames per second on 1080p high, and I tested Shadow of the Tomb Raider where I was getting 24 frames per second. I believe that was on a 720 low. Yes, 720 low. You can get about 40 uh, with the processor that's in the 4350G. So, But that's not the purpose of this card. The purpose of this card is to be able to split a, a you know different applications, office type applications and, and uh, productivity suites and, and those types of things up over several monitors, whether it be two, three, you know, up to six and maybe even be able to use a seventh with the uh, the GPU that's on the CPU. Um, that sounds a little strange, doesn't it? But anyway, uh, he could, this will be, I mean, for what he needs it for, this is going to be an awesome solution. 
he's not a gamer. He's not going to be playing AAA games. He might occasionally, you know, decide to play solitaire or something like that, or maybe something to pass the time a little. But it's going to be very low impact, and this setup will be more than enough to handle what he's going to need. Uh, it's going to be more enough to handle everything except for, you know, if he decides to, to, to take up video editing, we might have to come up with a little bit different solution. But that's not what he's doing. And uh, so this, this computer, this PC, the card, that 7750 is going to be perfect for what he needs. And uh, I, quite frankly, I was, I was really a little surprised at how, how versatile this card is, how much I liked messing around with this card, the functionality of it, how the different monitors, you know, you can set up, you know, have different setups and everything. And I, I really hope that AMD continues down this path of the multi-display the uh, the setup they've got ifinity i think they call it i i hope they do that with something like an rdna2 or when they continue on and, and say rdna3 or whatever I, I hope they continue to do this because this is a pretty good product and i don't see the need for multiple monitors especially in a situation like ben will be using it i, I don't see that need going away i can only see it increasing and uh, technology as we move you know further and further it gets better and better Something like this that's good enough now might not be good enough in two years, three years, five years. So I hope AMD and maybe even NVIDIA keep trying to improve this technology because it was it was very interesting, was a, a fun little sidetrack and something to take a look at. It. And uh, it discovered something that, that I don't have a need for, but I do realize there's other people out there that do have a need for it. So I thought that was pretty cool. But anyway, if you uh, if you liked the video, go ahead and throw a like on it. If you found it helpful at all or anything like that, uh, do you run a, uh, any kind of display like this? Do you have multi? I'm not talking about just like two or three monitors that you're gaming on or video editing or anything like that. Do you run several applications where you need four screens or five screens or or you know th something like that, some kind of matrix type setup where you're you're using. Or could use a card like this. Let, let me know down in the comments. I, I, I'm always uh, love hearing you guys' comments, and I'm finding out that there's more situations out there where people are using things that I wouldn't have thought in a way. And not that I know every way to use something, but I do. I am finding that there's more and more people that use products and tools in in a much more diverse way than I would have thought. Anyway, that is going to do it for this video. Until next time, there are some other announcements to make. And obviously some other stuff going on. Oh, and Ben, I don't know. You might end up needing this from our talk the other day. I still never got a chance to take a look at this. We'll find out if you need it. But anyway, until then, folks, I'll see you later.